Numerical Computation, Chapter 5, Additional Video Number 1. You can view this video after you finish the regular videos for this chapter. In this chapter, we learned various ways we can use to find zeros of a nonlinear function. And now, in this additional video, we go through a couple of topics that's related to the subject. We first look at the Atkins method. This is a method mainly used to accelerate the convergence. The method is based on ideas of extrapolation. So in general, extrapolation can be applied to any convergent sequence to accelerate the convergence. We have come across extrapolations in the chapter on numerical integration, which led to the Romberg algorithm. And here we look at it in a slightly different setting. Assume now we have a sequence of real number, xn, and that they converge, and they converge to a real number r. And uh, the rate of convergence we assume now is linear. The goal of this study is, based on that sequence, we would like to design another sequence that hopefully converges much faster. So, if the sequence converges linearly, then we have this relation approximately. So, xn is the approximation at step n, and xn minus 1 is the previous approximation. So, after one iteration, one is closer to the root by this linear relation. And here, lambda is a number that is strictly less than 1 in absolute value, and therefore your sequence would converge. So based on this relation, we can write out an expression for root, another approximation. So just by solving this in R, we would get this expression here, which contains x n, x n minus 1, and lambda. Then we can do a little bit manipulation. So we add x n minus 1, and we subtract x minus 1. So this will be just 0, so we didn't change anything. And now we group these two terms together, and we see x n minus 1 is common factor, after taking that out, we just get 1 minus lambda, which cancels the 1 minus lambda in the denominator. Therefore, we get a term xn minus 1. And then we collect the remaining two terms here in the numerator, and then repeat the denominator. We see that now we have another expression for the root r, an expression that is better than just xm minus 1 or xn. So with an additional term like this, we hope to make this a better approximation. The job now becomes finding an approximation for this lambda and put it in and get an improved method. Okay, so how do you find an approximation for lambda? Well, lambda is the ratio between the arrow at step n over the arrow at step n minus 1. And with simple manipulation, one can also express this as the distance between x n x minus 1 over the distance between x n minus 1 minus x n minus 2. And you can increase the index by 1, and then you will get this relation as well. Therefore, 
a better value for xn, and now we denote it by xn tilde, which would improve the convergence, is the following. We take the expression at the previous page, that's xn minus 1 plus, with the numerator over the denominator 1 minus lambda, and now we plug in the expression for lambda. Then you can do some algebraic manipulation. You could multiply both the numerator and the denominator by xn minus xn minus 1 to get rid of the further fraction in the denominator, and you will get this expression. And then you can further combine the two terms into one fraction and just manipulate the terms you will get that. So I didn't go through the details. You can pause the video and work out the details and see if you get exactly this expression. Therefore, we have found a better approximation to the root than just the sequence of xn. Then this discovery or this idea now can be used on any convergent sequence that we have. For example, the one generated by fixed point iteration. Now let's see how this works out if we apply it to fixed point iteration. x equal gx. We know from the previous discussion in this topic that in general, if the method converges, it has linear convergence. So given an xn minus 1, we set xn to be one step of fixed point iteration applying onto it, and then xm plus 1 will be, again, the fixed point iteration on xn. This is exactly fixed point iteration twice onto xn minus 1. Now following the discussion above, we can use these axes from xn minus 1, xn, xn plus 1, plug it in and to get an approximation for this lambda n. So lambda n would, would be xn plus 1 minus xn over xn minus xn minus 1. And then putting this back in, we get the following formula. xn will be xn minus 1 plus this g here. Down here is 1 minus lambda n. For the lambda n, we got an expression on the previous page. If you plug that in and with some manipulation, add, and you would arrive at this expression. So this expression can be viewed as given the value x n minus 1, one have this expression to compute the value x n as the next iteration value. So this is known as the Atkins extrapolation formula. One can view it as a new fixed point iteration for the function where you replace all the axes with just x and call this a new function g tilde. That's how you get it. Um, rigorous proofs are available for one to show that the convergence rate here is higher but uh, here we will not take that. It's a little bit out of the scope of this video. If you're curious, you're welcome to read on further and give that a try. Hope you enjoy this. Thank you for watching.